you should know that 1 divided by sine x is cosecant x, and you should have its derivative memorized. But if you don't know it yet, we can figure it out by using the quotient rule. We have 1 divided by sine x, so we can take this derivative using the quotient rule. We could also use the chain rule, but I'm going to opt for the more basic rule in this video. Here is the quotient rule for your reference. The derivative of f divided by g is f prime g minus g prime f all over g squared. In our case, f, the numerator function is 1, and g, the denominator function, is sine x. So let's go ahead and apply the rule. We begin with f prime g in the numerator. Since f is 1, f prime is 0, which we see there, and then multiply that by g, which is sine x. Then we have to subtract g prime f. Since g is sine x, g prime is cosine x. And then we multiply that by f, which of course is just 1. This then gets divided by g squared, and g is sine x, so g squared is sine squared x. So then in the numerator, we have 0 minus cosine x. So this is minus cosine x over sine squared x. Then we can split this up in order to rewrite it just a little bit more. In the denominator, we have two factors of sine x because it's sine squared. So we're going to take one of those out all by itself. We have a 1 over sine x. That leaves cosine x over sine x, and we also still have that negative in the front. Now we just apply some trig identities to rewrite this. 1 divided by sine x, like we said before, is cosecant x. And cosine x divided by sine x, that's cotangent x, the reciprocal of tangent. And don't forget the negative we have out front, and that is our derivative.